Hey, how y'all doing out there? I'm back with you with another video. Today I want to talk about the OnePlus 7T Pro. Is it still worth it in 2021? Now I could say right off the bat, yes, it is definitely worth it in 2021. Now this is a flagship device. I know it's missing some things like top tier cameras, IP68 rating, no wireless charging, no expandable memory, no always on display, no power share. But everybody don't care about all those things. But when it just comes down to raw performance and, you know, like the um, raw performance, like the speed, fluidity, um, also has dual stereo speakers and 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal memory. I mean, you get in a quad HD plus display, AMOLED display with 500 and, and I think 15 pixels per square inch, something like that. I mean, you're getting a great device. You're getting 90 hertz uh, refresh rate. <clears throat> There's no scratches on the display. You get Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back with an aluminum frame. You're getting a matte finish, no fingerprints. I mean, you get 30 watt warp charging that could charge this phone in just a little over an hour. You're getting face unlock with the pop-up selfie camera. Optical um, in-display fingerprint sensor that works flawlessly, basically. You get an alert slider on the right side where you could, you know, have the phone either be on ring, silent, or vibrate. <clears throat> Getting excellent battery life with a 4,080 milliamp battery. The battery life on this phone is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. I mean, literally right now I'm on day four, day four with light to moderate usage. Day four, get ready to go into day five, okay? <clears throat> of course, you're gonna get Android 12. Okay, it came with Android 10, and you're going to get Android 12. So this phone is definitely, definitely relevant, definitely worth it. And I'm just telling you, look at it. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful phone with this nebula blue. Like I said, no fingerprints at all. Nice finish. Feels nice and comfortable in the hand. You know, it's a little thin. Like I, I like a phone a little thicker. But, you know, if you like rocking it without a case, you shouldn't have a problem with it. It's a little slippery for me. That's why I prefer to use a case on it. But I'm telling you, this is actually, this is very, very beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> now, the cameras are not the best cameras out. You know, they're okay. They're not bad. Like, for the average for the average um, consumer, you'll be fine with the cameras. They're not bad at all. <clears throat> now, if, you, if you're a person that's heavily into photography and you want the best of the best, then you might not want to consider this phone. But what I'm saying, why this phone is so worth it, is just mainly for me, the screen is absolutely gorgeous. You're getting a Quad HD Plus display. Okay, a 6.67 inch Quad HD Plus AMOLED 90 hertz fluid display with HDR10 Plus and 516 pixels per square inch. And I said before, the screen, um, is absolutely beautiful. It gets nice and adequately bright. Also, <clears throat> it's very responsive to the touch. Like if you're trying to go in and out of apps, I mean, you just touch. I mean, it's very, very responsive. Like it just don't take no time to, you know, react to your touch. You know, I don't know what the touch sampling rate is, but it got to be pretty, pretty high. You know, because I mean, like I said, the least little touch and this thing is super fast. As you can see how fast it loads up these um, apps. I mean, this phone is one of the fastest phones that I have. The only phone that's faster than this, and I didn't think I'd ever have a phone that was faster than this phone because OnePlus has always been known for speed. But that Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is actually faster than this phone. But if you're looking for a phone with that great all-time performance, I'm telling you, check this phone out. Also, the price is considerably cheaper. Like you can get a refurbished one for a little over 300 and an open box for over four and a brand new one for just under 500. So the price is right. You got the 855 Snapdragon 855 plus chip in it. It's two years old, but I'm telling you that chip is fine. This, <laughs> this phone does not overheat, doesn't throttle, none of that. I mean, it runs like a boss. So you should definitely want to check this phone out the dual stereo speakers on here are pretty good they're not the loudest okay not the loudest but 
they sound good. They get nice and adequately loud. Now, they're missing a little bit of the full sound I like, but they get adequately loud. I mean, I don't dislike them. I mean, I'll take dual stereo speakers over a single fire speaker any day of the week. You got the fast, quick face unlock with the selfie camera. I should show you that really quick. See it right there? Now, this thing works pretty well, as you can see. I'm trying to show you this behind the camera. See, it's, it's seeing my face even behind this camera. So that's impressive. I love that. Then, of course, you got the the end display optical fingerprint sensor, which I just showed you there. Got a nice, get a nice animation. And also, it's pretty much like 100% accurate. I don't have any issues with the end display fingerprint sensor. It Actually, it's the best end display fingerprint sensor I have on any of my devices. Okay. All right. So, like I said, battery life. Seriously, even with moderate to heavy usage, you're going to get two days. <laughs> Seriously, two days. And with heavy, heavy usage, you might get a day and a half. So you don't have to worry about battery life on this. It does come with a 30-watt warp charging. The phone charges very, very fast. You don't have to worry about that. And I say again, um, the performance is excellent. You're getting Oxygen OS, which to me is a um, a, um, a better version of just stock Android is more customizable and has some, you know, more features because to me, stock Android is very boring. And you get your eight, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig of internal storage. Now, when it comes to software updates, for some reason, OnePlus has dropped the ball. They haven't been as fast with the, with the Android updates as they have been in the past. Over the past year, I don't know what's going on. I just got Android 11 like a few weeks ago. So I'm pretty disappointed with the with the speed of the software updates. But that might not be the biggest deal. Only reason why, because I'm not having any performance problems at all. I'm not having any issue with the battery. Not having any issue with the speed or anything. So the phone is running just fine. So um, now I was hoping that with the latest version of Oxygen OS that I would get an always-on display. But I didn't. I got. I just got the ambient display. So I was really hoping that this would get always on display. But I guess maybe the hardware on this particular phone can't handle it, and it would kill the battery. So maybe that's the reason. But I'm disappointed because I was really looking forward to having an always on display um, on this device when they upgraded it, upgraded me to their newest Oxygen OS. But that wasn't the case. Now, like I said, with the cameras, you're getting three cameras on the rear. They shoot decently, not the best in the world, but if you're not heavily into photos and heavily into photography, for the average person, they'll be fine. I'm gonna show you some, um, I'll show you some some samples along with one video I did, and you can judge for yourself. Now, I think they're okay. They're not the best, but they're not horrible either. So check these out. Y'all let me know what you think.
All right, so you saw them for yourself. You can make the judgment whether you think they were good, mediocre, bad, or whatever. Everybody sees things differently. You know, the fact that I say they look good, you may say they look bad. So everybody's different. Now, OnePlus was never known for their cameras, but they have improved a great deal with the OnePlus 8 Pro. I was told that those cameras are definitely now flagship worthy. And of course, the OnePlus 9 Pro took the cameras to another level because they have now a partnership with Hasselblad. Hasselblad, sorry. So, um, but for the for the average consumer, if you're considering picking up um, a, um, a phone and your and your main things is the display, um, performance, and the battery, I'm telling you, <laughs> you're going to get it with this. This phone is an absolute monster. I'm telling you. Now, like I said. It's missing a few things, you know, for me, but maybe for you, you don't care about those things that I mentioned earlier. So definitely, and it's definitely con considerably cheap now. Like I said, you can go on eBay and find it for, I mean, under $400, depending on if you want to get it refurbished or get it used. Now, open box is going to cost you a little bit more and then brand new will still cost you under, under 500. So you can't beat that price. All right, so thank you for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody out there is staying, staying safe and staying, staying well. Please leave me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And consider subscribing if you find this video helpful or useful to you. All right, hope you guys are staying safe. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.